Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're looking for economic statistics by county or by state, Simply Map's a great database that can get you that kind of data. In this example, we're going to be looking at percent of females living in poverty in the state of Ohio by county. We're going to look at the overall statistics, we're going to map it, and we're going to rank it by county using Simply Map. So here you go. Now when you first get to Simply Map, you have the option to create an account. Uh, you don't have to, you can sign in as guests if you want to, but if you, if you create an account and sign in, it'll actually remember what you were working on last time, which is pretty useful because sometimes you're going to do some pretty advanced searching and it's nice to be able to go back to what you were previously working on. In this case, it uh, looks like last time I was using this, I was looking at the percentage of uh, doors or number of doors bought by county in Ohio overlaid with the number of like door and window product dealers in the state of Ohio. So we're, we're going to move on from there and we'll use that for another video there. But I want to show you um, how to do, uh, you know, look at percent um, uh, or, of female households living in poverty by county in Ohio. So the, what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is do a new tabular report and do a standard report. Um, you can use the, the, the launch report wizard here if you want to, but basically we're going to look at variables and locations. So let's go ahead and choose our locations first. We know what those are. And let's just do a few counties in the state of Ohio. So we'll do Ohio here. And we'll just do, uh, let's do Athens. We'll use this location. Let's do uh, Franklin. All right, use this location. Let's do uh, Cuyahoga County, use this location. And we'll close that. Uh, we don't have any variables yet, so we need to go over here and do variables. Now you can go over here and do census data, and we could go like, for example, under people and households. We can go under maybe income, um, that sort of thing. But you might have to, have to drill down to really try to find what you're looking for. Sometimes it's actually easier to search. So we go over here and do search. And let's just search for, I'm just going to search for female, which is going to give us a lot of stuff, right? 458 variables, right? And let's just search for poverty, okay? So here we have percent of the female population in poverty total. Let's click use this variable. And you'll notice it has census, people and populations, population poverty as a, as a particular location. Uh, we can go there and look for additional data if we want to. We can go and look by, it looks like we have percentage or number by race, right? Uh, so the good stuff there. If you wanted to go back to this level of data here, you can go back to variables. Uh, here's census data, peoples and household, population, poverty, right? I was actually looking under income in the wrong section there. So that's kind of the advantage of how search can help you there. And if we scroll down here, here's by race, right? Or just by poverty here, percent of the population in male, in poverty, that sort of thing. Now if we close this out, and if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to actually select more of these, you could go in here and just do number of males, you know, use this variable. And as you close this out here, you can see that it's going to give us a nice little chart here. The cool thing about this, you can kind of build this out however you want to. We're just going to look at these data right now. If you want to export this as an Excel file, you can go over to download report and save it as an Excel file. If you're working with a group of people, you can share it and basically send them this URL and that should work uh, so they can preview the data, that sort of thing, okay? So that's one way you can do this sort of data. Now, if you want to see this visually, let's go and do a new map, all right? And we're going to do uh, locations and we're just going to do the whole state. So we're going to do states. We're going to do Ohio, and we're going to use this location. We're going to close that out there, and we're going to go under variables. All right, and if you want to, you can actually go under recent, and your most recent variables should be there. Okay, so if we do uh, percent population female uh, in poverty, let's use this variable. And you can see some of the other things I've been working on in, in pertaining to this project. And if you scroll on down, you can see I've done all kinds of, of uh, different stuff with beer and other things. So in home improvement, there's my door project, all that kind of stuff. So it does keep all your old variables in there. So if we close that out, this is going to go down and map um, uh, by uh, state the percent of population by county in the, in the state of Ohio. And it looks like we're looking at, at, at uh, by counties here. If you want to know what the labels are, you can go under display options and show map labels here. 
and that gives you the the counties there okay if you don't want the osu colors even though we're in ohio here uh, you can go under and and click on edit legend and if you're wanting to change this to a different color uh, we'll do the gray because you know poverty is kind of a dismal dismal subject so we'll change that to a uh, a different color just to kind of showcase it that way if you want to you can also if you're if you're a design minded person you can actually go and click on here and if you wanted to do some sort of like you know rainbow deal you can kind of do that and and really make a, a really beautiful or in my case if you're not a designer a really ugly looking map so okay now one final thing you can do in here which is really really cool is under the actions here you can do what's called make a ranking from the map and what that's going to do, it's going to go and rank all the counties in our particular location here for that variable that we chose. So we're going to click Make Ranking from Map. And what this will do is go and rank by percent population female in poverty for every county in Ohio. And you can see it's just showing 10. If we want to, we can change this to 100. All right. And now here we have all the counties, all 88 counties in the state of Ohio ranked by percent of uh, female population in poverty. So a real cool way to kind of get that level of data there. And you can see here's Athens, pretty high there uh, in the area. Uh, that's where Ohio University is right now. Um, so a good way to get that data, again, you can go under here and download the report as an Excel file, or you can share the data as well with your colleagues who are working on the same project. So that, in a quick way, is how you would find a, 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 um, an economic variable such as poverty for counties in a particular state. Uh, and that's, that's how you do it here in Simply Maps. So hopefully this helps. Hope this video helped you. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.